Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 100. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're looking at finding a safe place to stay in the 1950s in Phoenix, Arizona, if you're black. I wrote this many years ago. It's what I call looking through someone else's eyes. It's still one of the most popular things that I've ever written. This is an imaginary journey. Come along with me. Time travel with me to the 1950s to Phoenix, Arizona. In this story, I'm a black man with a young family. I served in World War II, and I have a good job back east. I've been working hard, and I just bought a big, brand new, beautiful car, and I want to see the country. The United States has some awesome new highways, so we can go anywhere. I just tuned up the car, filled it with gas, and we're on our way. But since this is the 1950s, and we're black, there are some severe challenges to face. This is the time of Jim Crow laws and segregation. Separate but equal is still the law of the land, and we can be turned away from restaurants and hotels because we're black. So we will be taking along the Green Book. It's been printed since 1936 and would stay in print until 1966. It shows places where we will be welcomed. After the mid-1960s, the United States laws changed and separate but equal go away as unconstitutional. But it's the 1950s, and since it's still the law, we can be turned away because of the color of our skin. We can be denied use of restrooms. We can be refused food, places to stay. And as horrible as it is, it's perfectly legal. It doesn't matter how much money I have. This is based on skin color and who we are, how God made us. What a beautiful country and the car is running like a champ. I'm glad we took this trip. We're in Phoenix. Let's see, the address is 1021 East Washington, and we're looking for the Swindle Tourist Inn. Okay, everyone out. Kids, go stretch your legs, but stay out of the street. The Swindle Tourist Inn building is still there at 10th Street in Washington. It looks just like any other ordinary house but as part of Phoenix history, it's extraordinary. This has been History Adventuring. I'll talk to you later.